What up guys, this is 6 Motions again, and this is another game of Titanfall. And that was Ninja Warrior 11 that's just left my Xbox Live party. It's because he's not that cool, so uh, he left. Got a few friends in this uh, lobby with me. I'm pretty sure it's uh, my mate Seaman, <laughs> what a name, and my brother. My brother's really good at this game. He's normally crap at shooting up games. Really good at FIFA, but rubbish at shooting games. For some reason, he's... Pretty good at this, so yeah. In this uh, game, I'm probably going to talk a little bit about this and Call of Duty. It's hard not to compare the two, as they're both shooting games. You wouldn't really compare this to FIFA. You wouldn't really compare this to PGA Golf. You wouldn't compare this to the boxing game. I can't remember what that's called, but you wouldn't compare it to many of them things. Um, and I think that with no, I know, I feel in the Xbox and PlayStation and the XP, maybe not PC, but I know in, in, the, in the gaming community, Xbox um, Call of Duty is like the game to compare to. It's a shooting game, everyone loved uh, Call of Duty 4, those people love, quite a few people loved World at War. I don't think that was most popular, but people enjoyed that for the zombies quite a lot. It was something new, everyone loves zombies. I don't know who doesn't. And if you don't, then you could just leave now because you're, you're not cool and you're going to die in the next so, so, uh, zombie apocalypse. So, see you later. So, when you got to look at this and then you look at Call of Duty, they're two quite, I'd say, different games. This is a lot like Halo, where you know you've got a shield every game's. Battle every, every you know every single time you see someone, what's gonna happen here? What could my moves be? On well, Call of Duty, you see someone and you're dead. You've got no chance to drop. You've got no chance. You know, in a few of them before you've had chance to drop. You don't have much of a time. In this, you do. So I, I feel that that you know makes every battle a bit better. Makes it a bit more frustrating because you could have like 20 hits on you know shoot someone like 20 times, and they drop over a wall and they're gone and you can't find them again. But I feel like it does make it a bit more intense, makes it a bit more fun. With Call of Duty, you have in every game not an ambition, but more of a challenge to yourself. Oh, another kill, and I'm going to get my Harrier Strike. Oh, another kill, and I'm going to get Carry Package. Oh, one more kill, and I'm going to get Chopper Gunner. Oh, and then I'm going to do really well in this map. Like, I think it's also hard for Titanfall because you don't know what is good for a map. With Call of Duty, it's always kind of been there. It's you know good kills, not so many deaths. But in this, like I don't care about the deaths. I just mainly go for the kills. It, it it's a complicated and confusing one. I always try and go for the most attrition points. But by doing that, you're going to get quite a lot of deaths. You know, going for Titan is not always easy. So what is what is like the best way? What's the best way to say which one's better? Really. In, I think you need to look at both of them as if they're two separate games. Uh, you can't have Titanfall. Have kill streaks. You're not going to get that. You're not going to have lots and lots of guns and lots of attachments because the thing is that is Call of Duty. If you want that, then go and find Call of Duty. Now, I'm not saying that Titanfall is better than Call of Duty. I'm not saying that. But what I'm trying to say is, as a whole, a game comes out and someone goes, "Well, it's not as good as Call of Duty." You're going to find that a lot. Call of Duty is not really going to be beefing them for quite a long time until people think more into it. You know, how are you going to come up with a new thing for killstreaks but not actually have killstreaks without copying Call of Duty? You know, you could have lots and lots of guns and lots and lots of uh, and you know, things. Fantastic. But then someone will be like, but they ain't got perks in it. Or, or they haven't got this gun or they don't have this attachment or the thing is, I think everyone's after a game that's just like Call of Duty, that was as good as Call of Duty. But you're, you're not going to get that for a while, at least. You've got all these Call of Duties coming out, and I, I, I feel that I've gone off Call of Duty. I'm not enjoying Call of Duty anymore. It used to be fun, it used to be good. It used to be quite exciting. Now it's just boring, and people are spawning behind you, and people are camping everywhere. They need to bring up like a perk or something where if someone sits still for, I don't know, like 
five, ten seconds that they explode or you, everyone can see where they are on the map. Uh, but the problem is with that, then I could just move every two, three seconds, a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. But they need to find a way to maybe conquer that. I mean, Black Ops 1 was absolutely phenomenal. I think it was the, the best Call of Duty they could have made. It was strategic. There wasn't a lot of campers. People spawned the other side of the map to you. They spawned with their team. You could... You know, you could do a lot. You could look into a building, throw a flashbang, go into the building. On Modern Warfare 3, from what I've seen, and Black Ops 2, you throw a granite, you throw a flashbang, by the time you've thrown it, you've been shot in the back. Or, you know, it's a lot more strategic, and it's a lot more... You also used to be able to see two or three people, and you'd be able to drop, throw a grenade, shoot a few of them. I know what I used to, anyway. Um... Maybe I haven't given the new Call of Duties enough chance, but I mean, I've, I've prestiged on Modern Warfare 3 and I didn't enjoy it. Um, I've, I've played uh, Black Ops 2 a little bit, but again, it's it's not really flat in my boat. So, what's the next best thing? Titanfall, I feel, could have that. It, it's got a new dynamic about it. Instead of kill streaks, you get a Titan. Problem is, it's not it's not like a good kill streak or anything like that. It's not a good thing about the game. Once you get in a tight end, everyone's after you, and you pretty much are dead, and you don't get many kills because of it. So I wouldn't say that it's the best thing. Everyone gets it. Everyone gets one every two minutes, and like if one team saves them all up, then you're basically screwed. Like for for ages, I think it's fantastic that they thought that you're going to want to destroy them, so they all give you, you know. Uh, a anti-titan weapon that's I think a great idea they, they could have added more guns they could have made the sniper rifles on this a lot better they could have added a lot more into this game I feel that we should probably be watching the space because I feel Titan 4 is going to get a lot bigger a lot bigger and a lot better in um, the next few years to come they'll look at this game they'll see what's wrong with it and they'll be moving forward from it I feel. So, also recently been thinking quite a bit about me and the way I represent games, the way I represent myself and my channel. So, I was speaking to someone recently and we were talking about YouTube commentators and they're like, oh, I like them, they're quite funny, I like them because of this. But I just thought, why do people like me? Um, I went to a party recently. Uh, for summer's 21st and a few of people said oh Lee you know I like your videos or Lee you know I heard you doing YouTube commentary and I've watched some of your videos they're really good um, and uh, someone else was like oh my brother wanted just to find out some, about some software about equipment and things what you should use what specialties how to use it and you know I was quite happy to say yeah yeah let him you know give him my email give him my Facebook and we can chat on that but Really, what, what type of commentator am I? I'm nothing like CNNers. I don't have, I don't, I don't look anything up. I don't research. I don't, you know, know what's going to be on the new Call of Duty. I don't know what's different about it. I don't know what's different about FIFA 15 other than Suarez not playing for Liverpool. I don't know what Titanfall's going to be. The new Titanfall's going to be like. I don't know much about Destiny. You know. Um, okay. So then I must offer a comedy aspect. I'd like to think that I'm sometimes funny. Uh, but I, I don't do that quite, I don't do that often. And I'm not really a ragey person, but well, you guys don't see that side of me. I don't have chance to do Twitch, I don't have time to do uh, like live streaming or record my voice live. I can start looking into it a little bit more, I think. So you guys get to see that inside of me when I lose it. I have been known to break lights in a house, several controllers. Um, just quite a bit, but I don't raid that much anymore. Most of the time, I've got to be quiet in my house. So, why why do you guys watch me? What what is it that makes you subscribe? I don't have many subscribers, and I don't see that as a flaw. I don't see that as a positive. I think someone can have one million view uh, subscribers, but only get a thousand views on their other videos. That means that not all their subscribers are still around, or they're not all their subscribers are enjoying what they're doing or maybe that all their subscribers you know aren't watching or something like that I would much rather have an, a good small fan base and know that I'll be getting a thousand views on a video 
and then you have 69 subs like that's fine but I'm not about wanting to get views I'm about wanting to I don't know really like when I first started this off it was my views on certain games because when I speak to people they were like I don't think that and I was like oh this is what I think and that was how it started I just wanted to you know I thought I did quite well on some games and I was in a clan and I was like oh you know it would help you know give the clan some more publication publicity it would you know I'm quite good you know I'm not awful so it would probably help put me out there a little bit more but I always generally like to um, refer to my page as your page in a way you guys want something I give it to you I'm not going to get the new Call of Duty but someone says put some Call of Duty, new Call of Duty stuff up I'll see what I can do I'm not going to promise anything if someone asked me to you know go on Total Four and do an entire game with a pistol or can you see if you can do this or can you show me how to use this equipment can you show me how to get this gun on Titanfall can you show me how to get this uh, armor on Destiny I'm happy to do that I'm happy to wage people on FIFA I'm pretty bad so and I don't buy coins so you won't really get much from me but yeah I feel as if that's why, why you're here if you're not here for that fantastic you find another reason that you like me might be my uh, my sexy voice that I can sometimes do really exotically or that probably sounded really scary and I don't know if you want to speak to me again but you know if you find enough if you find enough reason to watch me and enjoy watching me that's fantastic let me know why you enjoy my videos so I can continue that and keep that up for you I'm not going to continue to post just one game like just Titanfall I'm going to do Titanfall I'm going to do FIFA I'm going to do Destiny I'm going to do Call of, some Call of Duty I'm going to do Halo I'm going to do different games because I don't like to be just one person I don't like thumbnails on my YouTube I prefer to be instead of 5% gaming and 95% YouTuber I prefer to be a gamer that just does a little bit of commentating and posts my video on YouTube and I would personally refer, prefer to watch someone that's like that and um, so as you can see I've gotten thingy died a few times I haven't done fantastic but I haven't done too bad hope you guys enjoyed what I've said and you've liked what I've said come back again subscribe to me and hit like bye